you. And I said, okay, I'm going to look at it. And he said, the trucks are only 30,000 miles. It pretty much was a brand a new truck. But, you know, he want me to pay the same amount of money it was a new truck. And I said, even if you say, uh, you, actually, we did a, a drive text to the truck. And What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You know, he want me to pay the same amount of money it was a new truck. And I said, even if you say. Uh, All right, Nicholas in the building. All right, my guy. Yes, so, sir. All right, so listen, man. Um, you reached out to me uh, because of controversial trucking company, Super Ego. But as I'm going, I'm I'm going through the, you know, the the conversation that we had in our in in you know in the background. It looks as though that you haven't been with the company long. Like no more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. How? No, I'm, I actually, I just, you know, I, I was working for a company on my hometown and, you know, I spoke to the recruiter and he told me, you know, like two weeks before I resigned from my job, I, he told me he's got some new trucks and they say with zero down payment. And I say, well, if you got a new truck, a new Cascadia for me, I will, I will, you know, leave the job. Say, yeah, that's fine. And, you know, we will keep talking for that. Okay. I give two weeks on my company. Okay, so let so so let me so let me just make sure I get this clear or make this clear. All all of this uh experience with uh with super ego was only at the beginning when you was just going in to see uh uh just starting. You haven't yes. actually drove with the company and you haven't been there like two or three months this is just your experience from talking to the recruiter all the way up to get you know get in the truck and finding out that the truck isn't what you wanted and you decided not to go with them right Yes, that's correct. But, you know, the, the, the really bad situation was like, you know, as soon as I, I got there on Wednesday, the 16th, and then to the next day, the yard manager told me, uh, they assigned a yard, a yard manager to me, and he told me, don't tell nobody, but this afternoon coming 10 new Cascadia, this afternoon or tomorrow morning. And then... He told me, okay, go ahead, go do the drug test. And as I say, yes, that's what I told the recruiter. I want a new truck. And as soon as they came me into the drug test, when I, not even I got back to the building, when he called me and said, hey, I got a truck for you. And I said, okay, I'm going to look at it. And he said, the trucks are only 30,000 miles. It pretty much was a brand a new truck. But... You know, he want me to pay the same amount of money it was a new truck. And I say, even if you say, uh, you, actually, we did a, a drive test to the truck. And the truck was like, we no fuel. We barely had to ride just one corner on the truck because it was no fuel and had to return back. Okay, so he, all and, of this, so uh, all of this stems from not getting the truck that you want. So this is not a new truck if it has that many miles on there so you was promised a new truck paying that paying the down payment for it what was the down payment five thousand five hundred what was the down no payment? no no zero down payment oh, okay. zero so down zero, payment okay so, that was the agreement okay so, yes so zero I, so zero down from what i understand zero down payment is for trucks that's like older trucks like 19s, 18s, no, but 17s. But but the, what was offered the, to you? The but what was offered to you was a newer truck, like a 22, yes, like a 21, 22 type deal, right? No, it was a 23. A brand 23, new Cascadia. That's what they offered new, me. Was zero down. Yes. With zero down, that's what they offered to me. Okay, so that's that was what, pretty clear since day one. Okay, so that's what was offered to you, but what what did they give you? And 
Um, what would they uh, try to well, do? Can I take your order? Can I get a tall chai? A uh, large black coffee. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti, yeah, the biggest one you got. Venti is large. Mm, no, venti is 20. The, 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 the tour they offered to me was having only 30,000 miles. 30,000. But, you know, they want me to pay like it was a brand new. And I say, man, even if I only 30,000, it's not a brand new. You know that. The truck, I can even test it. It had no fuel. It's got four holes in the dash. And, you know, how you want me to pay 700 a week plus eight cents a mile for, for maintenance. And I say, that's not a new truck. I cannot, you know, and say, well, I'm giving you a, a, a new truck with no down payment. And, and that's what I have. And I say, but that's what you told me. That's what the recruiter told me. And he say, no, no, go sign the paper. If you want, then you can change it later. And I say, uh, 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 no, man, no. And then the recruiter called me and say, okay, we talk to the next day. And I say, that's what, that's what, not what you told me. And, you know, when I discussed that with my wife, she say, no, no, if they lying to you, they're going to keep lying on everything. Just, you know, forget it. I bought my flight back and, and leave Chicago. You know, and I pay for the drug test. I pay for my food. Well, they pick me up at the airport, you know, and, and, all, and but all right, Nicholas. But it was well, a really bad situation. Well, Nicholas, man, uh, I I want to I want to uh, I want to step out and say it's a good thing that you, you know, you 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 stood fast on on what you wanted, and you wasn't and you wasn't pressured into into jumping into a situation that could have been potentially a worse situation than what it already was. He he pressed me like three times to go sign the paper. Like three times he even told me and and then he was ignoring me and then I say uh, I was thinking myself, you know, I pay I I'd ride a, a, a Uber back to the hotel, pay myself for the Uber and went back to the hotel and I start man you know, and then I, I pay a really high flight ticket to buy, to get back to Jacksonville, but I didn't regret it, man. You know, I, I just want to talk to you because I don't want that happen to anybody else. And that building was full of drivers. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, but it is what it is. They, I, I'm glad I didn't sign up with them. You know, I got into a new company. They pay me for the flight. They treat me pretty good. And, and and as soon as I told the recruiter, the new recruiter that they buy me a flight to to Alabama, pay me for the ticket, pay me for the food, and right. I'm working for the company pretty happy. All right, yeah. all and right. I mentioned That's... the name, you know. But... All right, That's what's up, man. All right. So again, man, I I, I appreciate that you uh that you took the time uh to come on and chop it up with me about a controversial. Uh, trucking company. Sure, I, 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 I want to do it because, you know, your program is a really good program and is helping, you know, a lot of drivers and it, that building was full of new drivers. I don't want that happened to anybody, man. All right. That's, I appreciate that it. That was not a good but again, there. But, but again, this was, this, uh, basically this all stemmed down to a truck that, that was promised to you, but in reality, it wasn't, it, it wasn't, uh, wasn't given to you. And they wanted he you to, promise they, because they, they wanted you, to, I, they, they want, they was pressuring you into a truck that you probably had a funny feeling that that truck was going to give you problems going into the foreseeable, yes, foreseeable it's future. Appear like it's some, it was a fear like if somebody dropped that truck, it was not having no fuel for a hole in the dash and and they basically want me to pay like a, the truck was like a brand new and i say i said no I, and i didn't regret it i'm glad i didn't take that pressure you know but it's pretty hard when you pay for your fly and everything for your food and if you win not a little money there you get stuck with those people right because I, I, they are not good all right, Nicholas. So. What? Well, hey, thank you, man. Thank you for your time. I really do appreciate it. And uh, and thank you for and, and congratulations and much success on the on the new company where you at. 
Oh, thank you. They give me a brand new truck, and I'm doing what I like, a flabe, and I'm pretty happy with this company. All right. Yeah. That's what's up, Nicholas. All they, right, man. They did they everything they promised. Thank you for calling me. Uh, thank no you. doubt. No doubt. All right. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah, don't make a